So there was a college student by the name of Skylar Mack. Now she decided to go to the Cayman Islands. Now we know we're all the traveling right now. Most people have to have a COVID test. So Skylar decided to um, go to the Cayman Islands. She had a COVID test here. She tested negative. Then when she landed in the Cayman Islands, um, she tested negative when she got there as well of COVID. But their rules were that you must quarantine for 14 days. Now, does Skylar adhere to those rules when she was told? No, she did not adhere to those rules because, you know, a lot of people, you know, within her community don't like to adhere to rules even here in America because they think they can just do whatever they want to do. Um, and then they go to other people's countries and think they can do whatever they want to do. So Skylar decided to break their rules in the Cayman Islands and went to a competition with her boyfriend. And what ended up happening, the locals ended up seeing her there and they went and dropped a dime on her. So when they dropped a dime on her, she was immediately arrested and her boyfriend was arrested too because he aided and abetted her in breaking COVID-19 protocols. So originally when she went to uh, court, she pleaded guilty. She was sentenced to like 40 hours community service. Okay. Well, then the prosecutor said, no, that's not enough. Something more needs to happen uh, with this situation. And so he fought and then they end up getting four months in uh, jail. She's in general population. Um, according to this report, um, she um, is crying every time she calls home. She says she's not eating um, in jail in the Cayman Islands. So she's definitely one of those that you would call locked up abroad. Now she do have an attorney say, um, they're going to appeal the sentence, um, and, and hopefully they can get it reduced. Now they did contact the U S embassy in the Cayman Islands. And they said that, um, the Cayman Islands is making an example out of Skylar here, um, to let other people know that when you come to the Cayman Islands, you need to follow those protocols. Now it's a few, it's a few things with this. It's a few things. And we know the Cayman Islands, there's a lot of black folks uh, on the Cayman Islands. The majority of the population is black. But when you leave the shores of America, this goes just to anybody, but especially those who like to be rebellious and don't want to act, don't think rules don't apply to you. See in America, you can get away with that. You know, I mean, definitely Skylar's, you know, a community, you can get away with not wearing masks and you don't have to follow rules and all of that. And, and, and that works for you here. It works for you here. But when you leave the shores of America and you go to anybody else's country, all that rebelliousness that, that you like to do talking about, you're not going to wear a mask, not going to quarantine, you know, all the things that, you know, that's, that's happening now, that's not going to fly in other people's countries. When you go to somebody else's country, just go to anybody. When you go to someone else's country, you follow their rules and their laws. See in other countries, they don't have problems with masks like that. If they say put on a mask, you put on a mask. If they say quarantine, you go quarantine, or oh, it's going to be an issue or a problem. You see, you, you don't have all this mouth in other countries. You just don't. Freedom of speech is like a, a rare thing. And that's a, definitely one of the good things, I guess, about America is freedom of speech. But they do not tolerate rebelliousness in a lot of those other countries. They just don't whatsoever. Now, the grandmother is saying, well, it's too harsh. They need to release her. The White House needs to get involved. Why does the White House need to get involved? She was clearly told go quarantine for 14 days. Maybe this is why people don't need to be traveling during the pandemic. Listen, I want to get back to the African continent so bad. I do. But due to this pandemic, we have decided to just hold our peace, socially distance like we normally going to do. Right. And there's going to be the time when we can get back to the African continent. Now, some people may say, well, I watch other creators and they've been to the continent. That's on them to what they're choosing to do. I roll with a team of people. I'm in a different situation. Okay. Then maybe if I was going by myself or, or whatever, right. You know, I have to be concerned about everybody and what they're doing. And I don't want to go to a, a country and have to quarantine for 14 days, quarantine for 10 days. I don't want to quarantine no day. Matter of fact, I have a rule. If I have to take one of your COVID tests just to go to that particular, uh, even a state here in the U S I'm not doing it. The only way I'm willing to take a COVID test, unless I really, really have some business that I have to attend. 
I mean, I really have to, I can't postpone it. I can't push it back. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I just think during COVID, you just need to hang, hang around. Now, I don't think her going to her boyfriend's competition was worth no freaking four months in jail. Sorry. It wasn't worth it. And I know right now she's sitting in that jail. Like, man, all I had to do is be chilling in this hotel room right now. Now I'm jammed up. I'm locked up abroad for four months. Follow the rules. The only thing I'm saying, cause not everybody, listen, when you leave America, your white privilege don't go everywhere with you. I understand, you know, your white privilege got some capital all over the world. I get it, but it, it's not the same capital. Like when you're here in the U S See, in the U S you could, you, you know, socially you do whatever you want. I mean, everybody bends over for you and everything. Everybody gives you the benefit of the doubt. And if, if you cry, you get your way in other countries are like, you don't care about that. Cry all you want. You, you won't do what we tell you to do or else. It's like them years ago. I don't know. You remember that Mzungu that went to uh, Singapore and he decided to go vandalize and all that. And they didn't play that. And you remember they caned his behind over there and all them folks were mad about he got caned. You understand? They don't play that. That other one, uh, what's that auto, whatever his name was, that went to North Korea, uh, taking, uh, touching their stuff and, and taking the propaganda uh, uh, things off. And they pulled his behind right off that plane and they put him in that jail. And boy, they, they did a number on him. The dude ended up down the line dying. You can't go to foreign countries, do whatever the hell you want to do. If they tell you it's this, that's what it is. See, I don't have no problem following rules. If you tell me you can't do this, you can't do that, but you must do that. Okay. Because I understand that I must uh, respect authority. And, and most, most of them say they're evangelical Christians. Did, didn't the Bible even teach you about respecting authority? Because you know, the, they don't, they bear the sword and they, and they don't bear it for nothing. I know that's what they, they teach, but I, you know, maybe I don't, don't read that Bible enough to, to know that's what the, 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 the scriptures teach, right? To, to o, 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 obey the governing authority. So, yeah, it's, it's follow the rules I and mean, just follow the rules. I, like I said, I know in America, you can go in state houses with guns and nothing happens to you, but that's just not going to happen in other people's countries. But leave me a comment. Let me know thing about the situation uh, with Skylar here. You know, they, they're complaining big file. Oh, she's pre-med and how did they do that to her? No matter. They don't care what you got going on. If you don't follow the rules uh, um, to let you know, Becky and Brad, they're going to lock your behind up. You, you don't get your privilege everywhere you go.